G'day mate and welcome to Ixion with me, Jenny. This video is how to set up the second sector to not waste any space, really maximize every potential tile that you have access to because in Ixion you have many things working against you and a lack of space with a lack of time is definitely two of them. So I really wanted to use every tile and every, every single part of each of my sectors to their maximum potential. I already released the first video for the first sector, which you'll find in the pinned comment down below. Really recommend you have a look at that if you haven't already first. And then this is all going to be about the second sector. The second sector, which we no longer need to do food. The first sector hopefully covers that. The second sector is going to be, well, our industrial sector. It needs to be fully set up and we need to have a whole bunch of research done. So it's going to take us a minute, but you know, we fired the engine, we blew up the moon. So we have at least hopefully some time to get all this done. Now, I do want to ask one quick question before we get into it one can i borrow a like i just like to borrow a like now by all means later on the video i'll remind you if you're not happy with the video not how happy with how i set things out by all means you can have your like back but with that out of the way let's go look at sector two so sector two is a bit of a mess uh i'm gonna pause the game to start with just so we have some time to think and some time to really plan things out um we're gonna jump straight to road construction and i'm gonna bring a road from this top doorway all the way down to the bottom I'm then going to bring it out uh, three tiles plus three tiles plus another tile and then bring it all the way down here. It should encase these boxes. We need to hook those boxes into the road at the same time. We need to get some basic buildings done. One is going to be the workshop to build all the roads. Uh, the next one's going to be a stockpile, which I'd really like to put there, but I can't because there's a stockpile in the way. So I'd like to put there, but I can't because there's a stockpile in the way. So we're going to put one there. I also need to put a second stockpile right beside that for food. That's going to be our first couple of steps for this sector. Now, obviously, I need to hook these into a road, which is going to be a temporary road, but we need a road of some sort. And then I'm going to run the road all the way through to, well, everywhere. Uh, as for all these stockpiles, we need them all to go, uh, which means we're just going to throw in roads really a little bit anywhere, uh, just so we can... Is that one... T I, I don't know if that's one stockpile or two, but, you know, we'll just plug in roads any which way uh can i get a road through here up to there down to there there's always one that has to be unique and miles away from everybody else plug that one in plug that one in plug that one in plug that in and plug that in that should connect everything i hope uh no there's one there that should hopefully connect everything. Okay, uh, and then we can resume the game. Now, we're going to have to build a whole bunch of things to start off with. Uh, first off, it's going to be a mess hall. Now, I'm going to have the mess hall facing this way because it's where our food's going to be. And we're going to come down three tiles because I want to put housing above that. Uh, we're going to put our mess hall right there. Right there. Uh, beside that, we're going to need to put in the infirmary right beside that. Okay, that's going to be our first two buildings we need to get done. Uh, the other thing I need to do is in resource management, we're going to have to make sure things get shipped between sectors. So I want to have food and alloy in the first sector. And I want to have food and alloy in the second sector. And I want to make sure I always have 20 of each in the first sector. Uh, sorry, in the second sector. The first sector, I really don't care. We we need potentially none. All right, with that done, uh, we have events. Yes, we will have eight units of food stored within 20 cycles. Done, not a problem. 16 stored. Excellent. I love it when I complete a mission in a hurry. All right, so that's going to be our first step. We just need the uh, construction crew to finish clearing out, well building all the roads and also empty all these stockpiles. We also need to have crew quarters. Uh, we have 40 crew here currently, which means one, two, three, and that'll house 45. We can start collecting these very quickly and that should start clearing out some of this stuff. Also means I can finally get a road through there just so it's a little bit faster. Obviously the shorter the roads are, the more direct they are, the quicker we get stuff done. Now. The only other thing we need to come back for the first sector for is I need, not an infirmary, I need a cryogenic center, which we're going to put down here. Now, that needs to be hooked into the road, and we need to have somewhere to store cryopods, which is going to be this one right here. Need to get that up and running. You're going to have to start hunting down some cryopods very, very, very quickly to up the population. You're going to have some severe population issues when you start setting up a second sector. All right, with that out of the way, we're going to leave them to get this built and empty out these stockpiles. We just need them all emptied. No particular order. 
and we can clean up a lot of these roads as we go. So now we've got a, a little bit of room cleared up. You may notice that the hull integrity is going down and even with you uh, trying your very, very best to repair it, well, it, it becomes quite awkward to do. I'm lucky that we're so damaged that we're actually very, very good at repairing it currently, but as it's more repaired, it becomes slower to repair and therefore harder to repair and therefore the hull integrity goes down and therefore the people get unhappy. We like high trust. So uh, what I want to do in this very sector is I want to go into space and I want to put in EVA airlock right here. Uh, at the same time, we can now remove this bit of road and right beside it, I want to put a docking bay. We're going to be using both of these in this sector. Uh, to, well, one to repair the hull, the other one to transport raw materials in. And then once we have the raw materials in, we're then going to, well, manufacture everything in this sector. So we're actually going to have all the ships dock here rather than dock in the first sector and then transport the materials across. We're just going to short circuit that by just having them bring it in here directly. Uh, at the same time, we want to clear off all of these and we're going to have to have a couple more storages. So we're going to go into maintenance uh, stockpile. We're going to throw a stockpile here uh, and that'll be for the five microchips. Also, well, let's put one right beside it because we're going to need one for polymer as well. Uh, another thing you have to keep an eye on is population. Population is going to be a drag for a little while. So you're going to have to make sure that you get the cryopod up and running. Also, batteries. We can put some batteries in the first sector and also in the second sector right here. Um, three? three? Three will do us to start with. Okay. Uh, now, we need to just wait for them to get this built. And then they can get towards uh, repairing the hull, along with get this one built. And then we can get some ships in here. So now we have our docking bay up and running. First thing actually we want to do is we want to go to the old docking bay and we want to unassign our cargo vessel. We're going to build two mining ships right here. And we're going to come to this one. And we're going to make sure we're going to assign our uh, transport vessel. We're also going to attempt to build a second one. Probably even a third one. But to do that, we're going to have to get Polymer into this sector, which means I need to have one of these up and running, which we're going to set for Polymer. And we're going to make sure that we ship into Sector 2, uh, 30 Polymer. And out of Sector 1, well, Polymer. Uh, actually, it's 20. Okay, we're going to ship in 20. So with that done, we're going to turn that off. And you've got your delivery. Perfect. Uh, we're going to set that to zero. And we're going to set that to max. And therefore, that'll ship back out. And we're going to have uh, injuries. Okay. With the polymer sorted, uh, we're now going to go into iron. Iron. We're going to start having iron in here because we're going to be building our very first factory. It's going to be the steel mill, which is going to slide in right here. So this is going to require some of the microchips we have here, plus a whole bunch of alloy, which we're going to have to get uh, situated from both of the colonies. We're going to set you to zero. We're going to set you to max and make sure the alloy gets shipped over here. At the same time, we're going to set you to no electronics and you to max electronics so I can get electronics shipped out. We're also going to make sure our mining ships are going to go off and grab any iron ore. And we're going to set up our second ship. Uh, lower priority, lower priority. And we definitely need to make sure that we probe some iron ore, which is preferably nice and close. Let's go with right, that one right there. All right, with our very first steel mill up and running, it's going to turn 15 uh, iron into 15 steel per, sec uh, per, per, per cycle. It says it's a steel mill, even though everything else is called this an alloy but it's a steel mill. Okay, uh, so that's going to be our very first factory up and running. Now, we've had a few issues with this one. Um, we don't have enough population, and this is something you're going to probably encounter as well, just not enough people. Now, my first sector, I have uh, 152 out of 146, so I can transfer only workers, uh, five crew from here to here, which is a good start. Uh, as for the second sector, I need uh, 84 five and i do not have 85 in this sector i have had to put in a stockpile for cryopods which we make sure that cryopods come in here minimum zero sector one 
max of 100. So they get shipped into this sector. Uh, so they actually get defrosted. So we have more people. We're going to need a lot more people. Uh, speaking of that, we also are going to need more housing in this sector. And this is when we have our first runaway of not enough people to keep everything running. So we're going to probably do a giant large jump forward so I can get enough people in this sector and also enough people in this sector. Because we've been defrosting people, we don't technically have enough food anymore. It's fine so far, but um, it's something we need to get on top of. As you've been slowly defrosting people and, and moving them into the sector, hopefully... It's time for a second steel mill, because one steel mill is definitely not enough to keep up. Also, occasionally they have this waste cycle, where for one to two cycles they just do nothing. Which is a bit of an issue, because most of the steel you're actually getting, you're spending either on small upgrades, or on, well, replacing and repairing the hull, continuously. Um, yeah, it's the hull's expensive, very expensive. So definitely time for a second steel mill. Hopefully you have the population to support it. If not, um, defrost people faster. All right, now we've got everything hopefully stable enough that uh, hopefully we can bring in some more people. Uh, it's time to unlock the next factory. We were in a debate whether we want the electronics or the polymer factory, but as a uh, polymer is required to launch probes to find new materials, a polymer wins out. So we're going to put a polymer factory uh, right beside our uh, docking bay. And again, we just need to hook in some roads around the edge of that. It is going to require us to make sure we have a microchip in here once again. So uh, turn you on. Microchip resources. I want electronics. Just one shipped into the sector, please. And... Sector 1 needs 0 in stock, and, well, that's a bit more than 1, but sure. It's a lot more than 1, but sure. Cool. Alright, built. Now, with our polymer factory up and running, the last thing we need to get done is going to be the electronics factory, which we're going to slot in right here. Now, there's a couple of other things I want to do uh, in this sector before we in the video uh we're gonna want to put in a second infirmary right here with just a single little one road piece there to make sure that this house and and this infirmary are both connected at the same time um houses we're we're gonna need more housing uh, a lot more housing because well we're using uh 30 workers 60 workers 90 workers 115 workers plus another what, 30, 20 here, plus the other infirmaries and the other transports and all that sort of stuff, speaking of transports. We will also need another uh, storage in up here. Uh, this one for uh, the actual electronics output. Oh, and a road across the front there. So the electronics factory can actually uh, attach the road. But this is where I, I, I set up my, my second sector too. The rest of the sector I fill out with, well, housing housing uh along with other things that we unlock further in the game um after we've left this sector after we've well after we've left this section of space after we've moved on from here there are other technology that we access further into the tech tree that i don't really want to have spoilers about that seems very bad uh cool uh, I can't wait to get the auto repair research. Yes, with the two uh, steel mills, we should have plenty of steel to keep things running. One thing I do really recommend is you set up yet another cargo ship. Uh, this particular sector will burn through material fairly quickly. Consequently, you're going to need a couple of ships out grabbing resources. As you can see, I have, well, some carbon. I haven't got any silicon yet because I haven't gone looking. But I do have a lot of iron available to be collected, to be brought back, to be smelted to make sure we have enough alloy that we can keep building. Our biggest limitation currently is mainly population. Um, we have not enough workers in the first sector and not nearly enough workers in the second sector and I just added another 20, 30 jobs to the sector. Yep, uh, but this is where I'm going to leave this particular video. Uh, I do hope you guys have found it helpful, uh, at least in trying to set up your first two sectors. There'll probably be a follow-on video for the third sector because the third sector is when things change a little bit. We need to diversify a little bit uh at the same time remember that like that i asked whether i could borrow before can i keep it 
I'd very, very much appreciate it. If I could keep it, it would very, very much help out the channel. But with all that said, this is where I'm going to end this particular video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the very next video. All right, bye.